Hi, welcome to Blue Prism Tutorials. My name is Amir. This is part 12, working with choice stays. In the previous session, we learned how to work with addition stays. In this session, we are going to learn how to work with the choice stays. There is no much more difference between addition stays and the choice stays. Addition stays acts as a if statement, whereas choice stays acts as a switch statement. Choice stage is like a set of decision stages or if statements. It's a list of possibilities with an action for each possibility and an optional otherwise action in case nothing else evaluates to true. If you see on my screen, there's a scenario that what I'm having. I want to calculate the different stages of human life. If you see that the, on my screen that I'm having stage and the years. There is a different different stage for different different years. 1 to 2 infancy, 2 to 4 toddler, 5 to 7 years early school age, 8 to 12 middle school age and etc. So in this case that I'm going to use choice stage to calculate the stages based on the data that they have provided by the user. Let me switch to Blue Prism virtual workforce and we are going to be practicing the choice stays over here. So let first of all, let me go to studio and let me create a new process over here. Create process. I'm going to give it name as practice session for choice stays. Let me click next. And I'm going to give the description over here and click finish. Double click on the process. It will open a canvas studio. Now, Based on our scenario, what we are going to do, we're going to calculate our stages of different different human lives based on their ages, right? For that, I'm going to drag choice stage. If you see over here, with the choice, I'm having default otherwise over here. Uh, go to the, let me go to the properties of choice one. Over here, if you see, it's the name description and what are the choice names that we are having and the criteria you have to mention it. So I'm going to make it as stages. So it's exactly like what's like a switch case default statement if you have the oops concept over there. Okay, first of all, I'm going to give it the name as infancy and I'm going to give the expression over here. What is the expression? Let me see. First of all, that the age that we have to create it, right? So the age should be greater than zero and less than two years, then it is called infancy. So what I have to do to pass this age that I'm going to create a data item under numbers. I'm going to give it the name as age for the data item. I'm going to renaming it and I'm going to give it as age. And then I'm going to going for the logic. First of all, what is the expression that I'm having? Age should be greater than zero. I'm going to and condition. I'm going to make it and age is less than two years. Then only we're going to be saying as it as infancy. Okay. So this is the condition. So there's another way also to execute this condition. If you go for the logic over here, if you see. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use greater than or equal to functions, right? If you see over here, what is the operand? The operand is age. I'm going to drag the age, the left hand operand. And what is the right hand operand? I'm going to give it as value as zero. Then if you see, I'm going to pasting it that the value automatically will get it in the expression. In future purpose that what I, we have to learn how to write the expression that the reason I'm going to write it over here directly. Okay, I'm just going to write it, the expressions directly. What is the expression? Age is greater than zero, greater than or equal to zero, and age less than less than two years. Then what will happen? It will come under infancy. Okay, let me go and validate it. The expression is valid. If you see, that is the infancy that we have to got it. So I'm going to add one more. Uh, you know choice name call it as toddler and I'm going to do the same thing 
So or else you can just directly go ahead and over here you can write the expressions over here. So what is the expression? If it is the age is greater than or equal to two and age is less than or equal to four, then it is the toddler. So if you see over here, based on our how many choice statements that I'm going to write it, how many choice names that I'm having, I will get so many expressions over here or the so many dots over here. Okay, see over here if you see I'm going to get it as a stage stages and if you see over here What is the stages choice start and this is the stages different different stages that we will get it Okay, and if you see I have already added it age in the same way what I'm going to do I'm going to add all the Choices over here in the stages different different stages based on our choices I have added different choice names and uh, choice criteria over here if you see the for the infancy I have given age is greater than zero and age is less than or equal to two and toddler in the same way age is greater than two and less than or equal to four so these are all the things uh, one by one I have added different choice names and different criteria okay so I have arranged this choice in this manner that we will get a space over here okay and I have already added the as right now let me let me add some of the calculations over here calculation items over here okay so I'm going to add multiple calculation items for each and every calculation and I'm going to add one more data item what is the result that I have to check what age is that so this is what we'll say it as stage I will name it as stage okay by default this will be a text I'm going because of the age uh, the stage what I'm going to show it as a name or else we'll call it a human stage human stage I'm going to make it a data type as text and uh, there's no initial value and I'm going to click OK now what I'm going to do I'm going to linking all these things if you see so from the calculation one that I'm if you see over here when I'm going to drag it the stage it is showing and infancy let me show you in the same way the second stage if you see this is a toddler let me join all this cal uh, from the stages to calculation early school age so for each and every there is a uh, infancy toddler early school what these stages that I have added one more so if it is having if it is not satisfying all the conditions there is one more choice that one otherwise one right so we need to add one more calculation for this one also if otherwise that I'm going to say it as invalid age okay now for all the calculations that I'm going to add to end now what I'm going to do so what is the cal calculation stages that have added let me phase it let me go to the properties and I'm going to say it in fancy okay if it is the expression so what is the expression that I'm going to show it as so in fancy that when there is the age is less than two years and greater than zero years then we will call it as in fancy correct I'm going to give all the values over here and I'm going to store the data that is store result in human stage okay so this is the same way that what I'm going to do for all the things let me go ahead and let me click OK for the remaining calls also that I'm going to do the same now if you see I have given from start and the, the linking between uh, choice stage and if you see the, the different different calculation stages that we are having and I have connected to the end let me run this if there is any errors or not let me check for the errors there's the expression stage 5 there's an error let me see that one what is that error so there's a small error that what I have so less than or equal to and click OK now let me see again if there is an error there's no errors as of now OK let me give the age default age I'm going to give it as, as of now as 10 initial value not the default value initial value now go ahead and let me run this one if you see start stages it goes to middle stage and the human stage is middle school age let me check the value once again I'm going to make it initial value as 100 okay the age I'm going to give it is between 0 to 100 as of now 
let me reset it and let me run again if you see the stage is old age and it is going to end the human stage is old age based on the age now i'm giving the switch case is in between 0 to 100 only based on their choices now what i'm going to do i'm going to that give the age as invalid age let me check it out what is the choice it will take let me reset and let me run again start if you see there's the final option otherwise one invalid it goes to end the human stage as invalid so in this session we learn how to work with the choice stage thank you for watching this video have a great day